The Scorpio, welcome to Mermaid in the Sea Tarot. This is for, channel for lovers, for love, romance, sex, answers. <laughs> it's for entertainment only, it's for adults only. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's take a look at love. There we go. Maybe not. Opening up to somebody who's cheap. <laughs> Are you cheap? <laughs> Let's start. Ooh, wowza. Four swords reversed. Not making time for somebody. Ooh. Bet they dumped you. Who dumps a Scorpio? Who has the nerve to dump a Scorpio? Well, your last love. They are gone, so the seven of pentacles. Reversed. Okay, we're starting off with reversals, which means we need to, we need a goal. The Scorpio, I'm a Scorpio moon. I know, baby, I know the Scorpio cuts. <laughs> In this case, there's a lack of goals, a lack of goals with somebody who is really important to you, and now they're gone. Reversed. These reversed cards, we need to pay attention. They're reversed. Reverse. 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 That seven of pentacles reversed, it's like um, a big fat re-evaluation. Oh my God, another reverse. The Five of Swords reversed is pessimistic mind frame. <gasps> What's with all the reversals? Oh my god. Missing somebody. Missing somebody. Unusual, Scorpio, for you to be missing somebody. But that's where we're at. So let's begin here, right? This is... A destiny card which is the five of swords reversed okay we need to have a little talk because you're a little too much in the dark Scorpio you're too pessimistic right now uh, it seems like you're in a snowstorm you're in a snowstorm and don't know which way to go see this priest holding the world in his hand not in two hands, just in one. Is they're using the other hand to guide themselves, right? Very much blind faith moving forward. The two of wands reversed. Wanting the experienced love. Wanting somebody who's been through a few long-term relationships. So they know what they're doing and they know what their demands can be. And they know... Um, what to expect of you but I feel like the person you're with isn't that person their unusable energy right hatching an idea that may not work so you've recently latched on with somebody who isn't the one and you're just trying to make sense of why you're in this position longing for somebody from your past the Ace of Wands reversed is, is throwing away a lot of this. Scorpio, do we need to have a little talk here? Like, this is so unusual for a Scorpio to be sensing and feeling and stagnant and stuck and relying on blind faith, which is not a Scorpio thing, so you're definitely in some kind of weird momentum right now right that eight of pentacles reversed is such dormant energy and then chaos now is this card chaotic or are they all helping each other 
to build something. So maybe this, this card, this is a soulmate energy, somebody from the past who makes you feel alive and they make you feel sexy and they make you feel wanted and desired. But that person is gone. With this Three of Pentacles reversed, you did not consider their value. You did not tell them their role in your life and they are gone. That judgment reversed, right, is, um, it's not being a humanitarian to somebody who needed you to be a, a humanitarian. Somebody needed to lean on you and you did not offer the shoulder, even though you too needed a shoulder. The judgment reverse is just fucking ignoring all emotional signs, all the keys. You ignored all the keys that this past person was presenting to you. You didn't even pick the keys up. You didn't even see the keys, Scorpio. Now you're in this situation of holding the ball of energy of the Scorpio. Whoa, look at that. I even shifted the reading by kicking the camera stand. <laughs> That's what you need. You need a kick. You need a kick in the right direction. You need somebody that you value to tell you, here's what's going to happen if you take this path. You're hating the blind faith that you've put into this decision that you're trying to now get out of, it appears. Let's add some cards. Scorpio, down and out. Pissed off. Blind faith. All words not associated with Scorpio. Am I even doing a Scorpio reading? Bet your ass I am. Don't look at me like that. Yeah, see? Here you are. Waiting, needing, wanting, devouring the tower moment to get you out of where you're at, but that's not going to happen. That four of pentacles, right? The momentum needs to shift from um, being stingy with emotions to actually sharing them. There you are, King of Swords energy. King of Cups, oh my God, the that uh, being addicted to somebody who was your everything, but you blew it. And you're not taking the responsibility of having hurt them. Now what, right? See, you've got two kings upright and two queens reversed. Reversed is not good for a queen. Reverse. 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 We need these queens to be upright. When they're reversed, it is a woman who has been hurt. Maybe this is you. Maybe this is your love from the last relationship. Somebody who meant a lot to you is now gone. Maybe they actually didn't mean as much to you as you thought. But now they're gone and you're like, shit, I really did like that person. This king energy, the king of swords is, is having the balls to say what you want. King of swords wants to be married for life, right? But when they show up with another king, that means there's a plot twist occurring. This King of Cups energy, these are, these are two very favored King energies, right? This one takes the time to get to know you. They take the time. They are a protector. They are diplomatic. The King of Swords is somebody who is intelligent. But when they show up together, there's a plot twist, and we need these two queens. Now look at the juxtaposition here, you guys. Cups and Swords, Cups and Swords. The juxtaposition 
Let's play with this, all right? You're addicted to somebody who's in your past. All right. Maybe there's two people. You hurt one of them deeply. That Queen of Cups reversed has been hurt deeply. The Queen of Swords reversed has hurt you. What is the plot twist? These are, this is a mighty ass reading, all right? There's lots of karmic energy right now. You've put your faith in a shitty relationship that will go probably be done in one year. Your heart and your mind is more broken than you realize. Or that you're willing to admit. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Do I even have to tell you this reading or Scorpio? Do you just see it plain as day in front of you? That Knight of Swords is mad makeup, like mad sex, mad fucking makeup sex, right? This Knight is on a mission, but look at this. He's going the other way. He's going away from the Queens. He's going away from the imminent death card that is in reverse that changes their whole life, running away. This three of wands is somebody in the distance. It also though is making a firm decision to get somebody who is at a distance. This eight of wands reversed is a rash decision. A rash decision with the wrong queen. Oh, or a queen came in with a rash decision that fucked you up. Wow, this is a fun reading. Now here is the scorpion energy. Death, love, conversation, action, longing, desire, all within a week. <laughs> that is Scorpio. Two really pissed off women and one man with two personalities. One man, probably if you would have had a conversation about polygamy, this would have changed things. Maybe, I don't know. I fucking love tarot reading. This is the best. <laughs> it's good entertainment, isn't it? Now let's look at this, three of wands. Who are they looking at? Because this knight, so steadfast and heading the exact wrong direction away from two fucking pissed off queens. But who's this standing there? It's not you. Somebody, somebody who is about to make you feel an incredible amount of jealousy. That Ten of Swords reversed, the worst is over. So the Queen of Cups, the Pisces, the Scorpio, the Cancer energy, they're making the best of a heartbreak that involved you. This other queen, they had somebody else on their mind and it's not you. They're allowing somebody else to pour into their cup, right? Could be a Sagittarius that temperance card the temperance though when it's reversed is mm, like it's just again out of balance refusing to see your side of the story passing you by because you're now a liar to them or they are a liar to you this all can be reversed remember right Regardless, Scorpio, it's a mighty reading and there's some big changes that have happened in your life that have been very unexpected and now you're a blind dog in the forest among wolves. Very weird Scorpio energy. And when that's all you want, you really, at the end of the day, you just want the one person. You just want the one who changes everything and makes you feel like you're the only person 
on earth. Can you reciprocate that? I don't know. The Ten of Pentacles reversed makes me think that you find it too risky to commit to one person only, but now it's all biting you in the ass, I'm afraid. Yeah, the sun, the sun reversed is missing that soul response, missing the connection that happens deep down in the underbelly of your soul is not present in the current relationship and you keep trying to grasp at it, but it's that soul response between you and another person is on this horse headed the other way, headed west. Your person is, is there, they're hurt and gone. And now you need to do some inner work or make the best of where you're at right now. Right? The page of wands can't sit still. You need to make the best of where you're at right now. You're trying to make the best of where you're at. You don't need to. You're trying to make the best of where you're at, but deep down you know it's not the same connection as the last love. It never will be. So scorpionic energy creates that tower moment and gets the hell out of Dodge. <laughs> right? Six of Pentacles. In this case, this is this is where you usually are. Handing out, right? In this situation right now in life, you're the one receiving. But somebody else is holding that bar of measurement, that Libra energy of deciding what happens next. You're not a fan of that. You're the one who decides what happens next, not them. And that is how this ex-love hurt you deeply. They decided without you. However, you did have something going on that they weren't privy to. Whoa. Cons again, the Three of Cups reversed is not considering the value of somebody who was very close to you. So, Scorpio, big reading, kind of hurtful. Very Scorpio. You've got some inner work to do. Don't spend too long on that inner work because healing can happen in an instant. And I hope I see you again. If you're a fan of Dracula and erotica, have I got the book for you. This is my latest book on Amazon, In Search of Dracula in a Moonshot Sky. It's 30 poems philosophical erotic poems searching for Dracula and it contains 19 abstract pieces of art it is available on Amazon link is below If you like her that I created, then you'll love my newest book. It's 50 portraits, sort of like this. And the link is below. It's available on Amazon for a Kindle or an actual paperback copy.
just saying thank you for joining me and I hope you come back and I'm wishing you the best romance of a life.